God's plan for man is expressed in another word called grace God desires for man to be saved so he not only desired he went ahead to make the enablement available for mankind first Timothy chapter 2 verse number 3 as we begin tonight read for me for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior this is good and acceptable in the sight of God of our Savior what is good verse 4 who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth he will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth so God desires that all men be saved the scripture tells us he's not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but it's long suffering not willing that any soul should perish but that all should come to repentance God didn't plan for any soul to perish when we began to study you know uh, the foreknowledge of God the predestination and the election we saw that all of that is God's plan for all of mankind in Christ Jesus the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 tells us in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will and we said that the counsel of his will is salvation God did not plan any man for destruction nobody nobody including the atheists who says there is no god god has them inclusive in his plan of salvation god doesn't take pleasure in the death of the wicked we saw that in ezekiel god does not take pleasure in the death of the sinner that's why he's long suffering not willing that any soul should perish but that all shall come to repentance luke chapter 4 give me 18 to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord next verse and he closed the book something is missing what is missing that is not the ministry of Jesus today. That's why he closed the book. It's nothing like vengeance service. Service of vengeance. Oil of vengeance is fraud. It's fraud. It's calm. Jesus closed the book. There's nothing like oil of vengeance. There's nothing like water of vengeance. There's nothing like mantle of vengeance. It's fraud. Jesus, whom the prophecy was concerning, the fulfillment of the prophecy, closed the book. Put it back. Let me finish it. He closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him watch the next thing he said and he began to say to them this day is this scripture which scripture isaiah 61 1 to 3 minus vengeance is fulfilled it's not the day of vengeance when is the day of vengeance the end of the age today is the day of salvation you cannot have vengeance at the same time with salvation today is the acceptable time you can't have vengeance at the acceptable time he closed the book and he told them this day the fulfillment of this scripture is here and jesus is the fulfillment of all things i'm teaching now if you understand it shout i hear you there are people who are not happy with what i'm preaching but none of them called me none of them called me there are two things you cannot take away from me number one you cannot tell me what to preach 
because you didn't call me you didn't send me i'm not working for you you don't pay my salary and you don't take care of me so i'm not i'm not accountable to you i'm only accountable to the one who died for me then number two you cannot decide who will hear me nobody can decide who will hear me nobody can control those that hear me so leave that in two things you can't tell me what to preach number two you can't determine who listens to me am i communicating yes even in the house of a man that doesn't like me his wife is hiding in the bedroom watching his children are hiding in the toilet watching you can't determine who will hear me you can't decide who will hear us people are in the toilet with their phones with their headphones so you even know they're hearing they are watching except they don't have the holy ghost anybody that have the holy ghost when he hears the truth the spirit of god will be a witness he will know that i may not understand what this man is saying but this thing is true because likewise the spirit itself also bear it witness with our spirit there's a witness of the spirit except you're not born of god except you're not born of god even when you are fighting me if you are really born of God inside you you will lack strength to fight you will only do open eye but inside you you know in your consciousness that this thing sounds true it may not be what I've been doing but it sounds true I may have to humble myself and learn Jesus is the explanation of all things thank you lord hey jesus didn't mention vengeance at all because it's not the day we are in the seventh day honey on the seventh day god rested you can't be resting and doing vengeance <laughs> Apostle Gift, do you rest with God in your hand? Have you ever seen anybody that say, I want to rest? Then as he lies down, he carries cutlass. Is that rest? No, that is stress. God cannot be resting and be doing vengeance. No, he, he is resting. This is the seventh day this is the acceptable time this is the day of salvation god is not looking for to destroy people he is long suffering not willing that any should perish no matter what they do he is long suffering and when he is angry he releases mercy what you're hearing tonight is the gospel This is the seventh day, the day of the church, the day of grace. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 